Hi there, this is John from cncking.com and in the last video I made this Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, this time around I wanted to make something slightly larger so I designed and built this kangaroo shelf. Now for those of you wondering how I managed to make such a large object uh, with my ShopBot desktop. Let me show you how I did it. So I had a very large board and this time I cut it into thirds. This here is the area of my ShopBot desktop, the maximum area. So what I would do is cut out one part, the bottom part of the shelf, and then the second part, and then the third part. Now the challenge here was, as I went upwards, I introduced more and more air in the model uh, that I cut. If I cut this all in one shot, everything would be completely perfect. But every time I'd wiggle the board up and up, I'd maybe introduce maybe two to five millimeter of air. That could be X or Y. Now that's not much when you only go two, but when you go up to three, that doubles because now it's maybe five. Well, now it might move by another five. So you end up with maybe uh, a centimeter or two. I ended up with maybe a centimeter and a half, a little bit of air around the top. This is why when you do something that's tiled, you want to start with the base at the bottom because then you have 100% accuracy. And as you work your way up, the accuracy decreases, but as you can see with this model, it doesn't make much of a difference because there's nothing really holding it at the top and you won't really notice it. Let's look at it being made. If you watch my previous videos here on cnckin.com that I made with my ShopBot desktop, you notice that the material I always used was plywood. Uh, this time around I wanted to give it a try to uh, MDF. Uh, this thing is here is the first project I make out of MDF, and it's definitely the last project I make out of MDF. Uh, it cuts great, it sands wonderfully compared to plywood. The problem is the fine particulate. Um, even with an extraction system, you end up with all this little particulate flying in the air. Uh, basically after cutting this project out, uh, which is the equivalent of 21 sheets. I had a headache for three days. Um, it's just not fun material to work with. Um, I built my model to be able to support basically even a very weak uh, wood. I made cross members across the board so that it's plenty strong. Uh, but yeah, MDF just sucks. I'm not using it again. Now let's take a look at it being built.
The challenge of a small format CNC machine is that you have a very small platform, generally speaking. Uh, even with my 3D printer, I only have a very small platform to work with. But in this case here, I'm able to use something called tiling, and I can dramatically increase the size of the projects. Uh, it just depends on how much I want to cut and how much board I have available. This project here is available right now on cncking.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Come on, baby girl, let's get it going on. I'ma hit the highway and do it my way. It ain't no game girl, so I don't play games. I keep it up straight, right up in your face. So make your mind up, cause life is too short. I got the vest on, boy, put your belt on. Stop acting all cool, like can you West for you? be riding through the wire and the time I get fired. You don't want that, no, I don't want that, no. This goes up between some chicks, so slow, slow. Hit the back seat when you're doing the licking, kissing, squeezing. Do the damn thing, man.